about the fractions, the multiplication of fractions, addition of fractions, division of fractions, and we know that the simplest form also. In this session, I'm going to tell you the decimals. What is decimals? A decimal is nothing a point between we kept a I take two numbers. See, see here. If this is a 65, this is 65. And when we kept one point between them means this is a decimal. Then what we will call it 6.5. 6.5. So when we kept a point between a two numbers or any three numbers, that is called decimal. I think you have understood. Once again, I will tell the decimal nothing but we are keeping a point between a two numbers. That is called decimal. Now, I will tell you the how to indicate the value in decimals. See, here 5.0 is there. But here 0 is don't have value because this is after the, this 0 is after the point. See here, this is point and this is after. So, here 5.0 in the 0 don't have value. And here 50 we have. And here 0 have value because there is no point here and this is 50. So that's that's why here 0 have value. And see here 0, 5 means here 0 don't have value because here there is no decimal point. Because we will call here 0, 5 there means we will call only 5. We will call 0, 5. No, we will call 5. So that's why this 0 is don't have value. And here see 0, 0.5. Here 0 has value because here point is there and this 0 is indicating that point. We are calling 0 0.5. So that 0 is indicating that point. Multiplication of decimals. If you have this term, 2.5 into 1.4 is equal to 3.50. But here we don't have value for 0. So answer is 3.5. How we get 3.5? Let's we check it. We should do the multiplication you forget about the decimal points and you do first you multiply 25 into 14 uh, as usually you get the answer 350 after that again you do with the decimal point and 425 there you got 100 and 125 there you got 25 after that you add this 125 and you will get 350. Now we should count from right side how after all, after decimal how many digits we have we should count 1 and 2. So we have 2. In the answer we should count the from right side same and after the 2 digits we should keep here decimal point. So we count 1 2. So, we counted 2 numbers. After the 2 numbers, we should keep 3 point here. So, how we should call is that 3.50. But here, 0 don't have value. So, answer is 3.5. Now, I am explaining you the one more sum in the multiplication of decimals. Because, I am telling you how to keep the decimal point in the numbers. And not only in how to do multiply because you know the multiplication how to do and please listen this sum so carefully okay if there is sum 10.35 into 20.001 first you multiply these digits without the decimal point without the decimal point after you did the multiplication you will get the answer this digits 2 crore 7 lakh 1035 you will get after you get that how we, should, how we should keep the decimal point in that answer? You see in this question, 10.35 we have and 20.001 we have. Now, we should count from right side to left after decimal points how many digits we have. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many digits we have? 5 digits we have after the decimal point. So, in the answer, from right to left, we should count the 5 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 digits. Before that 5 digits, we should keep the decimal point. See. 
सिक्सटी टू नॉट सेवन पॉइंट जीरो वन जीरो थ्री फाइव दैट इज द आंसर वेन यू आर कीपिंग द डेसिमल पॉइंट फर्स्ट यू शूड काउंट आफ्टर डेसिमल पॉइंट हाउ मेनी नंबर्स आर देर इन क्वेश्चन आफ्टर यू काउंट दैट यू काउंट इन द आंसर फाइव डिजिट्स बिफोर दैट फाइव डिजिट्स यू शूड कीप द डेसिमल पॉइंट सो that time you will get the correct answer